Hello everyone! Today we are going to be talking about five remedies that you need to bring for food poisoning on your next international trip. I have traveled to I think almost 38 countries now and so I've traveled a lot of different places and I have had food poisoning a million times. I can remember one time I was in Ecuador and I don't know what I ate. I honestly it was I don't know what I ate but I woke up one morning around 4 a.m. and I had the worst food poisoning of my entire life. I was in the bathroom just both ends four hours nonstop. It was horrible. And one of my friends gave me one of these remedies that I'm going to share with you and it completely stopped. I was completely fine in about 30 minutes. I have carried them with me on almost all of my travels. Um, other travelers have recommended some of these to me and they are tried and true, I promise you. So these are small things that are super easy to pack in your suitcase, easy to bring wherever you go, and you don't have to worry about trying to find something in the country that you're in to fix the problem when you can't leave your hotel room or the bathroom or wherever you are. The first one is simple, it's Altoids. This is a thing that you can use like if you eat something weird and you start to feel the rumblings, the grumblings, and you're a little bit nervous. And this, I don't know what it is about Altoids, but there have been times when I am certain that I'm about to throw up all over the place and I will eat an Altoid and feel fine. I don't know if it's just me, but I've, had, I've heard other people say the same things. So. I mean, obviously, it's not going to help with every situation, but I definitely recommend carrying them. If nothing else, if you're, you know, throwing up sick, whatever, these will help your breath. So, Altoids is the first one. The second one I just found out about, and it has revolutionized my life. Um, ever since moving to Nepal, when I first moved here two years ago, um, in the first, like, month I was here, I got sick, like food poisoning, at least once a week. It was awful. And I was just trying to figure out um, through trial and error what was making me so sick. And recently, a friend of mine recommended, recommended, um, Diagize. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but I'm not like a oil fanatic at all. I, I think the only oil I've ever used in my life is peppermint oil. But um, I have tried this three times now and it has helped tremendously. Actually, just yesterday I was experiencing some light intestinal distress and I just you um, take one drop of this and mix it with one drop of any type of oil. I use Tohobo oil um, and you rub it on your stomach. I rubbed it all over, but you can rub it on just where the pain is. Um, and it just like helps completely calm your stomach down and like help you for example, if you're having diarrhea, it will help just like solidify things a little bit. And if you're constipated, it will help just smooth things along. So I'm not exactly sure how it works. Again, I am totally new to the whole oil, essential oil world, but um, it's such a tiny thing to carry and it helps so much. So I definitely recommend carrying this. And again, like I live in Nepal and I have heard so many foreigners living here who use this regularly to help with cramping, bloating, any other diarrhea, whatever. Okay, the third thing is activated charcoal. So this is the one that when I was in Ecuador, you know, puking, burping my guts out, um, a friend of mine, she gave it to me. And so this is capsules, I can show you. Um, these are just like capsules, and this one you just take one capsule, um, and it's like a powder, a black powder inside. Um, my friend actually had just like the the powder form, and you just like take a spoonful of it. So I didn't know anything about activated charcoal that day, and I was like so sketched out when she was just like handing me this spoonful of black powder, and she was like, "Take it." Um, and but I was so desperate at that point, so I took it, and literally 30 minutes later, I was completely fine. And how this works is it um, attaches to any of the like the toxins, poison that you have ingested, and it attaches to it and just like helps your body not absorb it. Okay, so it attaches to it and then just like moves it along the digestive system system, and you 
usually poop it out in a couple hours. Um, so I traveled, I was on a trip and I traveled to, I think it was 17 different countries in a year. And in the second country was when I had that awful food poisoning. And um, I asked my mom to send me a bottle of this and I took it with me wherever I went for the rest of the year. It helped me so much. So this is probably like, for extreme cases and a very quick fix so there were times when you know like i would be feeling so nauseous or and i would be about to like get on a 30-hour bus ride to the next country and i was like what am i gonna do i would take one of these and i would feel totally fine in a couple of minutes um so i i think there's like a there's no really risks with this. Again, I'm not a doctor. I'm just a girl who likes to travel and have experience with this. Um, I don't think there's any like risks. I didn't experience any negative side effects. I don't think that it's recommended to take this like every day for a month for like gas pain. It's more for like a very serious explosive situation if you know what I mean. Okay, and then another one, I don't have this with me to show you. I'll put a clip, a picture of it. It's called Drip Drop. It's basically a packet of powder and you pour it into water and it rehydrates you. So this is, you know, this is more for after you have had the food poisoning, but it's a really quick way to get you back on your feet again and, you know, ready to continue on your travels, whatever you're doing. So I have used this many times in Nepal I have my mom send me it I you know whenever I go back to the states I'll bring a pack back with me um, they have really good flavors they have a variety pack on that you can buy that has all different flavors my favorite flavor is watermelon incredible I actually when I was giving birth to Lina I, you know, I wanted to stay hydrated throughout labor and so I brought one of those rehydration packs um, to the hospital and you know had my husband make it for me it's really easy you just pour the packet in the water shake it up you're ready to go um, and I was sipping that throughout my labor and I had a very a pretty easy labor and delivery so I don't know if it's due to the rehydration pack but it definitely helped me um, just keep my energy levels up one nice thing about drip drop is it's super simple easy to pack and it's three times the electrolytes of a normal sports drink and it's half the sugar so pretty healthy it, it truly tastes amazing and it's just an easy light thing for you to pack in your bag for when you're in recovery after you've had your food poisoning and the last thing is peppermint tea you can see i keep this on hand with me in nepal and it's just a nice stomach soother i drink it if i'm feeling nauseous if i'm having diarrhea it you know is again important to keep hydrated when you're having food poisoning so i just tend to sip a lot of that and you know after i'm finished having food poisoning a great way to rehydrate is peppermint tea so um yes these are five things that i highly recommend for you to pack for your next international trip and i wish you well good luck out there everyone be sure to like this video comment down below if you have any other recommendations for um you know easy simple things that we can pack when we travel to help with food poisoning and Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. All right, bye. Real quick, I just need you all to see the behind the scenes of this video. I had about 30 minutes to film before Lina maybe would wake up. And so this is my current video setup. That's my where I put my camera. I got a makeup bag, a picture frame, Lina's toys, and Lina's toy container. Mom life. <laughs>